As long as we are speaking of things excremental, I thought I would delight you with an anecdote about the most vile anal expulsion of my life, one that I could not imagine should even exist, which is to say, projectile diarrhea. Sick I was at the time, and I think from some terrible stomach flu, or perhaps just the flu, or mayhaps I had a touch of the taint, but whatever the cause, it was to be sure that I was more than a little gassy in the bloomers, and my guts did writhe and contort within me so. Unaware that any deluge was about to appear, and sure of having completed my task upon the pot, I stood up from the toilet, faced away, and found as I bent to pull up my trousers a compulsion to release a vent of methane from within my bowels, and seeing no harm in a bowel presumed empty, I forthwith let loose with what I imagined to be a stentorious and satisfying bottom bellow. Much to my surprise, and to be certain also horror, what emanated from my nether regions was not so much a bellow, nor even an impolite spurt, as it was a blast nuclear and dire, a high-pressure cannonade of thoroughly liquefied and putrescent diarrhea, foaming in chocolate which explosively and execrably splattered itself with the force of a spouting whale upon the vast canvas of the sterling white wall of my bathroom. The amount and force of this expulsion was prodigious, and astonishingly audible dripping sounds followed as the tarry effluvium sought the floor from its high vantage point upon my wall. I stood transfixed, not only by the sound of it, but also through the virtue of that which, wraith-like, began to penetrate my olfactory conduits, and it was very much at this point, bent over and in shock, that the full awfulness of what had transpired washed over me, leaving me in a state that was as far as possible from a plum. The wall, that white and pure expanse, was now not merely besmirched, no, such a word fails to capture the terribleness of the rudeness which had been done to it. No, the wall was not so much besmirched as perhaps holocausted. Yes, holocausted, this word alone conjures the extent of what havoc my rascally and importune posterior had wrecked upon it. Visions of Macbeth rang in my ears later as I reluctantly scrubbed, for who else upon this earth or any other could be brought in at any price to attend such a task, my bathroom, out damn spot indeed, and it seemed that no cleaning, however Herculean, could remove the taint upon my own Aegean stable. To this day, as I sit upon my porcelain throne, pondering, perhaps, the words upon the pages of a magazine or journal, my eyes may wander to the blank whiteness of my now clean wall and recall with not a little shudder the fact of the physical possibility now proven far beyond my satisfaction of the phenomenon of projectile diarrhea. Now may you return to your thrilling tales of diapers and disintestination, but keep you always in mind of the warning presented by my personal misadventure. Do not take lightly the breeze you may blow from your tail trumpet. For instead of a vesper, you may well receive an unwanted and monumental storm, one from which no amount of prayer or wishing will preserve you, and for which there is no relief, but only grim and disturbing toil. Thank you, and good night.